Hey guys, today's video is an empties video. I don't do these a lot. I don't do these monthly. I know some people do. I don't. I like to stack up until I'm like filled with trash. And then I'll show you guys everything that I used up. I think it's just more fun that way and it's more satisfying that way because we get to see the bulk of my usage. Anyway, my social media will be in the description along with my drama channel. Anything else you might need to find, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And I'll get into it now. I'm getting into it. So, I don't even know where to start. I've got this whole box. And then I've also got this whole container. So we're gonna be here a while, guys. Anyway, tuck yourself in, get, you know, some food, get some snacks, get a drink. Because we're in for a ride. Anyway, the first one is, you guys keep on telling me how to pronounce this brand and every single time I forget. Mm, clearly, we're at full capacity in here. So, way. Way Way dry shampoo, super dry shampoo. This is essentially kind of like I'd compare it to maybe Batiste, where it's like really strong setting, setting spray, really strong dry shampoo. Where it's like you're on your um day three, we're getting extreme here. You forgot to wash your hair, you wake up in the morning, you're in desperation mode, you're running out the house, your hair is greasy, you can't even put it up into a bun. It's super strong, but it doesn't leave your hair feeling crunchy. It just soaks in all of that oil and then leaves a matte finish, but without the crunchiness, without the stickiness, without the like, you know what I'm talking about. So I actually really, really enjoy this dry shampoo. I think this is one of the best I've ever tried. The scent's really nice. It lingers all day, which is good because you want to mask whatever is happening up here. Really, really good for those desperate days. It's not for the faint of heart. It's not for those days when you're just like, oh, I just need a little touch up this is like i will soak in any oil that you've ever had in your life okay so i think this is just good for for that exactly that it's good for that so i also finished the oribe oribe gold lust dry shampoo this one on the other hand complete opposite if you have a large amount of oil on your head expect nothing have no expectations because this is not going to do it for you however what i like to do with this one is if i know i'm on like day two so i've like washed my hair gone all day with my washed hair and then the next day that night i will put it in before i go to bed and then i wake up and i can top up with this one but i feel like this one just keeps your hair at bay it's got a nice scent but it's not necessarily like the best most effective dry shampoo i've ever used i think it's fine i like the natural finish it gives my hair i like that it doesn't leave my hair feeling matte or crunchy or crispy but it definitely isn't like heavy duty stuff so those are my dry shampoo recommendations so far. So I've been using a bunch of Function of Beauty exams sponsored by them, so I just don't get around to using any other shampoos and conditioners, but I actually had like a tiny bit of this left and I finished it off. It's the Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask from Brio Gio, and I actually think this one is fine. I like the Don't Despair Repair. I don't know if I have it anywhere in here or if I didn't finish it recently. I don't know. I like the Don't Despair Repair hair mask more than this one. I feel like this one is a mask that feels more like a conditioner, if that makes sense. Like if you're using a hair mask, you want it to like really add moisture and like amp it up and make your hair super shiny. And uh, this one just behaved like a conditioner. So if you just want a conditioner, then this will be fine. But if you're expecting like heavy duty mask for like damaged hair, this might not do it for you. I don't know, it didn't necessarily do it for me. It was fine. It was fine and it was moisturizing, but it behaved like a conditioner at most. What else do we have? Since we're on the like, you know, shampoo phase and hair phase. I actually had this in here for a while. It's the Brio Gio Don't Despair Repair Super Moisture Shampoo. Yeah, so I really like this. I think this is a good solid shampoo. If you're just looking for like moisture, but still cleanliness, I feel like you can't go wrong with the Don't Despair Repair line. It's the only line from Brio Gio that I've actually tried and I really enjoyed it when I was using it. Goddess Cleansing Ritual 1 from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a face cleanser. It's like step one and the step two. I don't really know where I put step two. Here it is. And here's step two. Uh, I had these sent to me in PR and I actually really enjoyed these. I think they were quite strong. So if you've got dry skin, maybe not for you. But if you just need that like clean feeling, like getting everything out the pores kind of a thing, these are really nice. And I think they're one of the least expensive things from the skincare line so if you're just trying charlotte tilbury out or you just want something from charlotte tilbury that might be a good call for you the function of beauty serum face serum really love this it's vegan it's cruelty free i had it i use this as like my second step so it'll be no yes yeah, so i'll cleanse i'll put on the serum 
add any other serums that I might need, but this actually has a bunch of different ingredients in it at the same time. It's like you're mixing all of these serums together into one serum. And then I put moisturizer on top and I feel like this just adds that extra plumpness that I love from a serum. We have Function of Beauty Cleanser really nice they have three different types of these cleansers i have the jelly one and i think this is just really nice because it doesn't dry out your skin it's a good second cleanse it just gently takes everything off without feeling super drying i feel like my skin doesn't feel that tightness when i'm done with it i actually had a function of beauty conditioner that i finished and i don't actually know where it is it was the okay so i still have it in my shower explanation for why i finished this literally the other day was because i never finished my shampoo and conditioners at the same time so I always start my Function of Beauty shampoos and conditions at the same time, so they're the same scent, but I never finish them at the same time. So I had already finished the conditioner, and I was left with like, I'm left with like this much, of, and I'm left with like this much of shampoo. So I thought I'd just add this in, and then I'm gonna start in a whole new set of Function of Beauty, but I don't know where the conditioner went. Anyway, it was the pear scent, and it's the best scent that I've ever tried from Function of Beauty, and that is a fact and now i've tried like multiple i remember trying like a pineapple one i had mango i had pear i had peach i had like a few pear is by far the best that i've ever tried it brings me back there is so much nostalgia for that one next time i reorder function of beauty i am getting pear again it's incredible it's amazing it makes me feel wonderful using it but anyway, I'm still finishing the shampoo, so that'll be in my next empties. And I don't know where the conditioner bottle is, so that's disappointing. But that's why I finished this, because it's so sad that you never, like, finish them at the same time, because it's just not satisfying enough for me. Anyway, amazing shampoo, makes my hair super shiny. As you can see up top here, it's, like, it's got this, like, nice shine that I really enjoy. Oh, Phoebe's running up the stairs. This is why my hair is this shiny. You guys asked me what I use, and I basically just use Function of Beauty for the last getting close to a year now i've pretty much just continuously used function of beauty and this is the first time since this one that i finished off and actually i didn't finish this one my mom did this isn't my empties it's my mom's empties because <laughs> i bought these and then i got function of beauty and i stopped using these and my mom was like i'll finish them off don't worry and i was like thanks so it's not my empties that's my mom's empty uh but that's why i finished this one then we have so phoebe's been, being very needy right now she's actually demanding hugs which is great but not great right now because i'm trying to film i'm trying to film okay phoebe you're gonna fall off and crack your head stop i like how when she gets like too into her game she'll start biting me like very gently and then when i say out she pretends that she was actually intending to bite herself and then she starts like chewing on her leg and i'm like i know what you were doing you're not going to fool me are uh, you not gonna fool me anyway Huda Beauty mascara, really nice. It's there's the length side, yeah, curl and length, and then there's a volume side. I think this is one of the best mascaras that I've tried in a while. Like since Pat McGrath Hourglass Caution mascara, I feel like this is like top three. And it's got a plastic wand, which I usually really hate. This time it just kind of worked. I don't know. I could ignore the wand situation because the mascara was that good. Let's do. Okay, this is going to be a very disappointing one for me. Not for the reasons that, you know, I'm not sponsored by Native. I've had one sponsored video with Native for my drama channel like two years ago. Um, since then, I haven't done anything with them. But I have two empties. It's the Lilac and White Tea and then Tangerine and Citrus Blossom. And I'm using Vanilla and Coconut right now, which is my ultimate favorite. And I recently got an email because obviously when you're buying stuff, you put your email in and they send you like little notifications on your email for like offers and stuff. And I get one and it says that they're going to stop delivering to the UK and EU. And that if you want, you can get it from one of their Amazon retailers. But these are usually like, I don't know, £10 each because you get the three pack for $30, which is about £25. On Amazon, one of these deodorants is £25. I would have to be a billionaire to be... Quiet. I would have to be a billionaire to spend £25 on a deodorant. So I'll be now buying a different deodorant. Thank you very much, Native. I might actually, if they still offer delivery to the UK, I might just get like six in bulk. And then after that, I'll figure it out. I liked the Drunk Elephant one. So 
I might just go back to that one. I had this sample of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. I actually had a full size of this before and then I was buying something off the website and they offered me this as a sample and I was like, I really liked the serum, but it's really expensive. So I'll grab this. And this lasted me like three or four days, which was something great for me personally. Okay, so as me and Phoebe are showing you guys right now, I also used some of the um, glossy skin tint. <laughs> So I also used up the glossy skin tint. I actually cut this bad boy up because the plastic's so flimsy, which I love. I love this like soft plastic that they give. Um, and I usually cut it in half and then I completely like shove my sponge in there and scrape it clean. This is my favorite skin tint of all time. I just don't think there is anything that quite compares to this. And Phoebe thinks so too, quite frankly. So you get double stamp of approval if that's what you needed. She's fighting me for it right now. That's how much she likes her glossier skin tint. Don't you, Phoebe? High five. Phoebe, high five. Yeah, very nice. Yes, very nice. So yeah, I go through these like water because they quite literally are the consistency of water and I'll make that joke every single time. It's not even a joke, it's just a statement. I used up a Glossier bubble wrap. One of my favorite eye creams because it's not on the lower end of eye creams. It's not cheap by any means, it's like 18 pounds. Not affordable at all. But compared to the Drunk Elephant one that I used, I was like 65 pounds. And then the Charlotte Tilbury one I'm using right now that I got in PR, that's like 50 pounds. This is on the more affordable side. It's actually really nice. It feels like it's like plumping under your eyes. Like it just fills your under eyes with hydration and it makes you feel more awake and just like ready for the day. So I actually really, really enjoy this one. But I am using a Charlotte Tilbury one and it's taking me ages to get through it, which is good because it's really expensive. Um, I also finished a Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum. It's the one that I always go back to. Even if I try something else, I always go back to this one because it's just like the most effective one that I've used in a while. I can like actually see the difference when I use it versus when I don't use it. So yeah, I already have another one of these that I'm using right now. I also got these two as samples, which are the Drunk Elephant Sweet Biome Fermented Sake Spray from Drunk Elephant. These are really nice, but the sprayer isn't like, satisfying to me it just like spits at your face i don't really see much more hydration than i normally would i much prefer the glow recipe watermelon spray um because that one you can like actually feel that your skin's being hydrated and it's like a very nice soft mist that i just enjoy applying these ones were fine but not the best i actually got one of these as a sample on cult beauty's the equilibrium rebalancing cream cleanser from hourglass so hourglass has a like sister company for skincare called Equilibrium and this is one of their cleansers. I thought it was really nice, but like nothing to write home about and I bet it's like 5,000 pounds. That's not even an exaggeration. Their prices were outrageous last time I looked. I also got this in a sample, Charlotte Tilbury Lightweight Moisturizer. I have that one in full size, but I really enjoy it as a day cream. So when they offered the sample, I took it and I used it and I really, really enjoyed, and I really enjoyed myself. Then we have, hmm, this one's really sad, okay. Hourglass has these like skinny lipsticks and this one is in the shade the first time and it's like this beautiful pink lipstick and I uh, wanted to put it into my project pan the other day so I applied it to my lips and suddenly I smelt moldy styrofoam and felt tingliness. It smells like, oh my god, I just got it. Okay, did you guys ever have those like styrofoam type mats that would have like it would be a, a box and then you put like the number into it and you could take it out and then you could like play on top of them. They were like soft mats that you'd have all over your floor and then you'd like stick them together into like a puzzle piece. That's what it smells like. And that is not the original scent that it had. Because I have a new red one, it's the vegan red and it doesn't smell of anything. So this one is definitely expired. So I'm throwing it out very sadly. I also finished the other day the Milani Luminoso. If you guys have been here for a year or since basically my channel started, like this one, you know, this has been in my project pan since literally the first episode of my project pan. And I just finished it now. It's, I'm like happy, but also infuriated a little bit. I got this as a sample. It's the Galon. It's like the pure gold with the gold flex that Tati used to talk about. Really nice primer, but it stopped pumping product out. There's still half in there. Nothing. You can't even unscrew it because it's like one of those like unscrewable ones. So I guess that's my galon gone. I guess I didn't pay for it. So that's fair enough, but I actually really enjoyed using it. So that's fun. The Pharmacy Sleep Tight Firming Night Balm. It's the travel size. It's like, they had this set of like four minis. 
think it's called like Mighty Minis, Mighty's Minis, Mini Mighty's or something. It had four different pharmacy products. I finished this and I actually ended up buying a full size that I'm using right now. So I love trying little um, travel sizes or samples because it makes me actually want to buy a product versus buying a full size, hating it, and then forcing yourself to finish it or having to throw it away or give it to someone else which is a waste of money. So sometimes I do enjoy buying just like a travel size or something to figure things out. Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat. This one's in the shade Natural Brown. Really enjoy these Charlotte Tilbury Brow products. I'm using the Clay Brow Gel today, but I also, where is it? Sometimes I feel like I just throw stuff out without putting into my empties. Anyway, I also finished the Legendary Brows Brow Gel at the same time as this. Don't know where it is, disappeared. But I enjoy the Charlotte Tilbury Brow products. A lot. I finished the Fasali Rose Gold Skin Mist. Really nice hydrating skin mist that just makes your skin look like skin. It's just really nice. The sprayer on this is really good. If I ever find it on a sale, I'll grab it. Okay, so very exciting. Charlotte Silvery Matte Revolution in Very Victoria. It's a mini size and I finished it completely. This has been this has been an achievement of mine. I'm like very proud of that one. It's a really good lipstick. I already have a full size of it. I just I'm obsessed with the way it looks on the lips. At least on me, obviously it all depends on your skin tone, undertones, all of that stuff. Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream Smoothing and Moisturising. It's, it's the watermelon body lotion. I think it's nice, but it's very lightweight where it soaks in pretty much straight away. So if you've got really dry skin, I don't think this will do much for you. But I think for the summertime when you're already like sweaty and greasy, I think this one would be quite nice. I'm going through a lot of lotions right now, so I probably won't get this for a while, but I'm considering it because it... It smelled really nice. I love the watermelon scents. Then I was actually trying to go through my perfume collection, which are like, not the full sizes, I'm talking like all of the travel sizes or samples that you get for free when you order stuff. Yeah, I shouldn't get through those because I have like a whole box. So what did I go through? I had a Zara Glitter Rainbow one. It smelled actually really nice. Zara perfumes, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I had a bunch of these Versace Bright Crystal ones, but I wasn't, they were nice, but not the best. So I had like four. And I think I only end up going through one and then I'm just like getting rid of the rest. Then I had Angel by Muglet. It's nice. Actually, I, I think I really enjoyed this one. I'll have to take a picture of this one because I think this was the one that I really enjoyed. And then I also had Givenchy Irresistible. I think, I think this one was nice. I mean, I finished it, so I must have enjoyed it to some extent. Um, so those are the ones that I went through. Then we have just a bunch of Truly Beauty, which I told you guys about recently. I buy like bulk and then I get lower shipping. Well, I don't pay any shipping, I just pay customs. And I just enjoy getting like a bunch at the same time because delivery from America takes years, okay? So Unicorn Fruit Whipped Body Polish. Really enjoy the scent, it smells like what you'd imagine a unicorn to smell like. Just very sweet, candy, sweets type of thing. Cocoa Cloud Whipped Shave Butter. I use this for shaving now and I don't end up getting like ingrown hairs or cuts. My skin's very sensitive. I'll get a rash from just like breathing wrong at my skin. Like it, and it rash straight away. So I use this all the time to shave and I feel like it just leaves like a smooth feeling. It's, it's a close shave. Really enjoy it. So someone's beeping outside my house. That's not very fun and fresh. Another Unicorn Fruit Whipped Body Polish. I use these inside the shower as like gentle exfoliation without any of those like beads. So it's almost like chemical exfoliation for your face, but for the body. Unicorn fruit whipped body polish. Clearly I enjoy these. Acai your boobies boob butter. I use this everywhere. I don't just use it on my boobs because that would be strange. I, I mean, it's not strange. It's literally the instructions, but I just use it everywhere. And then Buns of Glory smoothing butt butter. So this is acai, which is like acai, dragon fruit, retinol, apricot, and antioxidant boost. But this one's watermelon, vitamin E, apricot, orange flower, and wheat protein boost. And then the unicorn fruit one is acai, chia seeds, matcha, rose water, and then vegan collagen boost, if you wanted to figure which one you want. And then I have a unicorn fruit whipped body butter, which is the obviously the lotion I use outside of the shower, another cocoa cloud, buns of glory, tight and glow butt serum, watermelon, vitamin E, same stuff as the polish and I have the boob one still inside the bathroom unfinished because I just kind of took times with them. Another unicorn fruit whipped body butter, cocoa cloud whipped shave butter, <laughs> unicorn fruit whipped body butter, I say your boobies boob polish and buns of glory smoothing butt polish. 
And then the last product for my empties is this Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. Makeup melting smoothing. Use this as your first cleanse. And then you go in with the second cleanse. I wiped it completely clean. And right now I'm using the pharmacy one, which I'm almost finished with. And actually the pharmacy one is my favorite balm cleanser of all time. This one is a close second, but not quite. I also used to use the Drunk Elephant one, also really nice. I'd say this one and the Drunk Elephant are on par. And then the pharmacy one is just like, incredible amazing i just will keep on repurchasing that one until i find something that i enjoy more which i don't see happening anytime soon so there are definitely products that i forgot to put into this box definitely like i feel like i had something else like the conditioner but these are basically the products that i've been using for the last few months and these are the ones that i'm finished with um so i feel like i'm making really good progress mainly with my no buy i'm like forced to use stuff and then you know finish stuff like my blush and brow products and you know just go through my collection and figure out what i have what i don't have what's on the verge of expiry so that's it for my empties video if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up comment down below anything comment down below and subscribe to post videos every time i think of something to do so hit that bell be notified when that's happening social media links and the links in the description i'll see you in my next one bye guys